Predatory dinoflagellates are predatory heterotrophic or mixotrophic alveolates that derive some or most of their nutrients from digesting other organisms. About one half of dinoflagellates lack photosynthetic pigments and specialize in consuming other eukaryotic cells, and even photosynthetic forms are often predatory. Organisms that derive their nutrition in this manner include Oxyrus marina, which feeds phagocytically on phytoplankton, Polycrocos cofoidi, which feeds on several species of red tide and or toxic dinoflagellates, Ceratium furca, which is primarily photosynthetic but also capable of ingesting other protists such as ciliates, Cochlodinium polycrocoides. Species, which feeds on phytoplankton, Gambyrdiscus toxicus, which feeds on algae and produces a toxin that causes ciguatera fish poisoning when ingested, and Feisteria and related species such as Luciella massinensis, which feed on diverse prey including fish skin and human blood cells. Predatory dinoflagellates can kill their prey by releasing toxins or phagocytize small prey directly. Some predatory algae have evolved extreme survival strategies. For example, Oxyrus marina can turn cannibalistic on its own species when no suitable non-self-prey is available, and Feisteria and related species have been discovered to kill and feed on fish, and since have been mistakenly referred to as carnivorous algae by the media. Usage in popular media The media has applied the term carnivorous or predatory algae mainly to Feisteria piscicida, Feisteria shumwayae and other Feisteria-like dinoflagellates implicated in harmful algal blooms and fish kills. Feisteria as an ambush predator utilizes a hit and run feeding strategy by releasing a toxin that paralyzes the respiratory systems of susceptible fish, such as menhaden, thus causing death by suffocation. It then consumes the tissue sloughed off its dead prey. Feisteria piscicida Latin, fish killer, has been blamed for killing more than one billion fish in the Noose and Pamlico River estuaries in North Carolina and causing skin lesions in humans in the 1990s. It has been described as skinning fish alive to feed on their flesh, or chemically sensing fish and producing lethal toxins to kill their prey and feed off the decaying remains. Its deadly nature has led to Feisteria being referred to as killer algae and has earned the organism the reputation as the T. rex of the dinoflagellate world, or the cell from hell. <laughs> Feisteria hysteria The prominent and exaggerating media coverage of Feisteria as carnivorous algae attacking fish and humans has been implicated in causing Feisteria hysteria in the Chesapeake Bay in 1997 resulting in an apparent outbreak of human illness in the Pocomoke region in Maryland. However, a study published the following year concluded the symptoms were unlikely to be caused by mass hysteria. In popular culture During the media coverage in the 1990s, Feisteria has been referred to as Super villain, and subsequently has been used as such in several fictional works. A Feisteria subspecies killing humans featured in James Powlick's 1999 environmental thriller Sea Change. In Frank Schatzing's 2004 science fiction novel The Swarm, lobsters and crabs spread the killer alga Feisteria homicida to humans. In Jan Martel's 2001 novel Life of Pi, the protagonist encounters a floating island of carnivorous algae inhabited by meerkats while shipwrecked in the Pacific Ocean. At a book reading in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Martel explained that the carnivorous algae island had the purpose of representing the more fantastical of two competing stories in his novel and challenged the reader to a leap of faith. In the 2005 National Geographic TV show Extraterrestrial, the alien organism termed hysteria combines characteristics of Feisteria with those of cellular slime molds. Like Feisteria, hysteria is a unicellular, microscopic predator capable of producing a paralytic toxin. Like cellular slime molds, it can release chemical stress signals that cause the cells to aggregate into a swarm which allows the newly formed superorganism to feed on much larger animals and produce a fruiting body that releases spores for reproduction. See also Carnivorous fungus Carnivorous plant 
Protocarnivorous plant. <laughs> 